Historians will note this hour at the White House. In a Rose Garden ceremony, a 58-year-old great-grandson of a slave is nominated by President Johnson to be a Supreme Court Justice. He is Solicitor General Thurgood Marshall, acknowledged the best-known Negro lawyer of the century. The President also calls his nominee best qualified. I have just talked to the Chief Justice and informed him that I shall send to the Senate this afternoon the nomination of Mr. Thurgood Marshall, Solicitor General, to the position of Associate Justice Supreme Court made vacant by the resignation of Justice Tom C. Clark of Texas. Thus, the highest court in the land, with the vacancy owing to the stepping down of Justice Clark, has named to its august body Thurgood Marshall, the first of his race so honored.